How many times have you watched a review and heard the term game changer? <laughs> well, you know, I've never used that phrase when I've done a review on anything, but this time it comes darn close. This is the Blue Eddy EB3A, and it's uh, a very unique little power unit. Wait till you see the details on this one. Well, this one is brand spanking new on the market. And as of this moment, I don't even know what the price of it is going to be. You're going to have to check the video description down below. That's how brand new it is. Uh, at the time of this video, it's not even released to the market yet. But uh, I don't even know where to begin with this. Let's just start with the basics. Uh, for example, right now I'm looking that on top, it has a wireless charging station of 15 watts. Set your phone on top and it charges it. It's a very small, very lightweight. 200 and about 269 watt hours or 12 amp hours capacity on a LifePo 4 battery, which should give you 3,500 cycles, uh, which would take you the rest of your life to do. But it's uh, well, let's let's like I say, let's start with the basics 12 volt regulated DC outlet right here, and down below that, we've got two barrel connectors down here that are uh, 12 volt DC, 10 amps. Underneath that, you've got your input down here, 12 to 28 volts of DC and up to eight and a half, 8.54 amps that you can put into this. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Here's another input port over here. And this is because on this one, there is no power brick. You don't have a bulky brick to haul around. All you have is this cord and it plugs directly into here. That's one of the innovative features of this is the power charging module is inside. You don't have a brick. And over here, we have a circuit breaker here, which is on the outside and that's kind of unusual too. Over here, we have 120 volt outlets. These are 600 watts and uh, with a peak of 1200 watts and there's something very unusual about these. We'll get to that. And over here, we've got your USB A's. These are five volt DC three amps and your USB C, which is 100 watts. And that's another unusual feature on this little power unit, which these are normally 60 watts. This one is 100. Blue Eddy has really good displays and this one's not lacking that either. And over here, we have a light. It's got the SOS on it too. So it's got a, a medium setting, a high setting, and the SOS. On the display, it has your input on this. It shows how many watts are coming in and how many watts are going out. In the middle, you've got your numeric 85% it's showing right now. Down below that, it shows how many hours you've got left on whatever you're running at the time. And of course, it has the digital or the... Uh, a display with the arc showing approximately how much time, kind of a visual if you're a little further away, I guess. Well, that's the basics. I want to get down to what makes this uh, a really special little unit. And I'm not just saying that, I'm impressed with this one. Well, like I say, I already mentioned that you just plug this in and uh, plug it into the wall. I got it upside down. Plug it in, plug it into the wall. The thing is that this will recharge to 80% from zero to 80% in 20 minutes, because it takes eight and a half amps. It's a real fast charge. And it'll take up to 200 watts of solar, which would charge this in about uh, one and three quarter hours. What's another outstanding feature? Well, it has Bluetooth, and that's important because it has a setting on here that, what do they call it? I've seen this before on other power units that cost a lot more money and are a lot bigger than this one. Basically, it's got a 600 watt outlet over here with a 1200 watt peak, but let's say you want to run a hair dryer or a small heater or something that draws more than 600 watts. 
You can plug it into this as, as long as it's not an accessory that draws over 1200 watts, it'll run it at a reduced level. For example, if I was to plug a heater into here that was a 1000 watt heater, it would run that heater giving it 600 watts. So it wouldn't be putting out the full amount, but you'd be getting something. It'll do basic uh, heating elements like that. Now the reason I mentioned the Bluetooth is because that's how you uh, turn on this power lifting mode for the AC down here. So basically your hair dryer won't put out quite as much heat, but it will put out 600 watts worth. As for the power lifting, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see what happens with the um, power lift off. Let's turn this on. And you can see it immediately shut off the Blue Eddy. Now let's turn the power lift on and see if it'll run that Instapot. Okay, now you'll see that it is running it, except it's running it at about 500 watts, just under 500 watts. This is a 700 watt unit. So it is running it at a reduced wattage, which means it'll take longer to pressure cook something, but you can do it. It has an eco mode setting, and if you're running something on AC, and then it's not drawing at least 10 watts, after four hours it'll shut off. And if you're running, charging something with DC, like, you know, when you plug in your uh, phone and then the... It, when it's charged, it gets down to where it's drawing less and less and less and less. When it gets down to one watt, after four hours, it'll shut this off. So you're not just using up battery uh, just because the light's on. Here's another thing this little thing will do. It's got an uninterrupted power source. If you need to plug something in and you can't um, take a chance on a power outage, like during a storm or something, this acts as an a UPS or uninterrupted power source. So I would have it plugged in through the wall with a cable and I would have my appliance plugged into this. And as long as the power is on, it's just making a direct pass through from your wall outlet right through this and into your appliance. So it's not going through the battery first and then into your appliance. But if the power shuts off, it immediately turns on the battery and supplies whatever item it is that you're trying to furnish power to, uninterrupted power source. It's especially uh, important for like medical devices. Of course, you can use whatever solar panels you happen to own, no matter what brand. As long as they're under 200 watts, you can plug it into this and charge them. You can charge it from your car's cigarette lighter. You can charge it from a generator. And of course, you can charge it with AC at home. It's a nice size you can just carry with you. It's handy. I've already had it out on the, our last camping trip and I, I reached for it first to charge my camera batteries and our phones uh, so because it's just handy to have. So be sure and check out the price on this one. I'll, if there's a discount for it, code for you, I'll make sure I put it in the link in the video description below. Look for this one to be competitive because Blue Eddy is always making upgrades to their products and they're very competitive in price. Check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I hope you got something out of it. I tend to review items that appeal to the people who watch my channel, and outdoor equipment, power stations, solar panels, e-bikes, and the rest. And don't forget that on Fridays is our regular videos. Review videos usually come out during the first of the week. See you around.